All right, Cor, what's up, man? Ah, friend. Am I glad to see you? It's Hildegard. She never came back after she went to say a prayer for Tannic. Yeah? I think I could use your help. Well, I'm definitely interested. I want to know where Hild... Where... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, how long has uh, Hildegard been missing for? After Tannic was injured during the Grand Sermonizer incident, Hilda went to pray for him, and I haven't seen her since. No one has. It's not like Hilda to just disappear without saying a word to me or Astara. Where does Hildegard usually go to pray? She loves temples, but the trouble in Kvetch has made her avoid the big cathedral. Lately, she's been visiting the great chapel of Debella in Anvil. I think the rituals soothe her. Will you come to Anvil and help me find Hildegard? Yeah, no, of course. Uh, Kvatch, you say? Yeah, I'll help you find Hildegard for sure. I'll meet you at the chapel in Anvil. Hopefully we'll find Hilda curled up and sleeping under Debella's statue. Just be careful when you get to the city. The Pirate Queen hates the Brotherhood almost as much as the Sermonizers do. Okay, has Hildegard gone missing uh, before? She likes to commune with the divines and with nature. And she takes on contracts like the rest of us. So it's not that unusual for her to be away from the sanctuary. But with the recent attacks against us, I can't help but imagine the worst. Yeah, you think something may have happened to Hildegard? I hope she's alright. But who knows what to think when the world turns upside down. Someone's been murdering the murderers. If Hildegard's been hurt, or worse, don't know what I'll do. What's the deal with you and Hildegard anyways? What are you implying, Initiate? Hilda is like a sister to me. Ever since I found her, I've been trying to help her come to grips with her situation. She may be a werewolf, but she's a good person. The Brotherhood is lucky to have her. Sounds like it. Hard to believe the Brotherhood tolerates a werewolf in the, mi uh, in the midst. Why is that so hard to believe? It is kind of hard to believe. excellent tracker and a ruthless killer in werewolf form. Sometimes she brings back body parts she's still gnawing on, but who hasn't gotten lost in the moment a time or two? And I always clean up the mess. I I thought they were okay with werewolves in the Dark Brotherhood. Why does the Pirate cre uh, Queen hate the Dark Brotherhood? The Pirate Queen hates everything she can't control. The Count of Kavach, the Primate, us... She wants to rule the entire Gold Coast, but we're not willing to just roll over and give in to her demands. We're independent, and we like it that way. Okay, that's fair. So let's go find Hildegard. He said... in Anvil. So we're probably better off just fast traveling, because we would have to go here, and then... Well, yeah, there's no point. We might as well just fast travel, if I'm being completely honest. This is probably the fastest way there anyways, man. It probably would have taken a lot longer to go to the Way Shrine, travel to the other Way Shrine, just to find the location, so... Hey, look, back where we started. Uh, okay, let's go. Did... Were we supposed to go into the city? I think we're supposed to go into the city. You know what, I'm gonna get on my horse. It just seems yeah. like it's the efficient thing to do. Okay. I just don't know exactly where we're going, so we'll find we'll find our way eventually. <clears throat> so it says go to the chapel of Delabella. That's got to be this location right there. This is the Fighters Guild. Perfect. Hello. We're here. Interview the worshippers. This should be interesting. A dude in shrouded armor going up here. Hey, it's Kor. Hilda's not here. <clears throat> Let's ask around and see if any of the worshippers have seen her. Will do. Sounds like a plan. I guess we'll start with the Red Guard. Bask in the holiness of this sacred place and let your troubles fade away. Have you seen a young Nord woman? Wears a flower in her hair? I have seen many such women in this city. I heard the governor wore one at a recent appearance. 
And now the custom has become a sort of fashion statement. Sorry, I cannot be of more assistance to you, Wayfarer. All right. Uh, what about you? Ah, now I've lost my train of thought. Well, since you've already interrupted the writing process, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking for a young Nord woman. By any chance, have you seen her? She wears a flower in her hair. A Nord? Here? Is that even possible? I have it on good authority that the typical Nord melts in hot temperatures. <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm surprised I've never met a Nord. One more thing to do before I finish my memoirs, I suppose. Uh, I guess it's a big deal for a Nord to be here, apparently. Oh, look, there goes Della Bella. Whoa. She looks like she's asleep. I wonder if I can get a priest to tell me how they keep the fires burning. I hope it's not one of those sacred secrets that they're always going on about. Perhaps. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for a young Nord woman. Have you seen her by any chance? She wears a flower in her hair? Now that you mention it, I remember a young woman. No, wait. That was a wood elf. Carried around a bouquet of flowers. Talked to them, smelled them. Then she ate them. Really, wood elves are very strange. Why is Kor standing behind her like that? My, someone is certainly curious about this Nord girl. I wonder who she could be. Uh, who are you? Your interest in this young Nord woman has certainly piqued my curiosity. Tell me who she is, and I'll tell you what I saw. She's a friend who's gone missing. I'm trying to find her. Nothing else, nothing more. I saw a young Nord with a flower in her hair talking to Chanter Nemes over by the Akatosh Shrine. I remember because it was so odd. He was whispering in her ear and standing much too close for a man who wasn't her father or her lover. Could you hear what she was saying? He? Oh, believe me, I tried. When they were finished, the poor young woman had tears streaming down her face. She ran out of the chapel as the chanter looked on. He had a self-satisfied smile on his face. Do you think he said something improper? <laughs> This girl is so ridiculous. Um, I'm sure it wasn't that kind of discussion. No, 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 of course not. A man as pious as Chanter Nemes would never do anything untoward with a young Nord woman. I mean, even the rumor of such an event would be scandalous. Don't worry, though. I won't say a word about your friend and the Chanter. She's weird. Thanks for your help? I guess... Core. Troll's blood. Can these people gossip? They're worse than the Rat Master's informants, and he pays them to dredge up secrets. Hilda was here, but no one can say where she went or when. Tell me you had better luck in the sheet. Uh, a woman saw Hildegard speaking with Chant, uh, with Chanter Nemus, uh, before she fled in tears. A Chanter spoke with Hilda? That's not what I wanted to hear. Understand, Hilda isn't like us. She grew up in the wild. The idea of being civilized is really new to her. And she still feels guilty about the wolf that's inside her. You think the Chanter says something up to upset her? It certainly sounds that way to me. It doesn't take much to turn her guilt about what she's done as a wolf into self-loathing. I'm constantly trying to get her to change her feelings on the matter. But her beliefs run deep. Any idea where she'd go in such a state of mind? Back to where it all began. Back to Skyrim. I'll check at the docks to see if she's tried to secure passage on a ship. You go talk to the caravan master. Hopefully one of us will discover which route she took to go back to where the wolf was born. That is interesting. I'll talk to the caravan master. That is... We're probably gonna have to go to Skyrim. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. Okay. The Caravan uh, Van Master, we're gonna have to literally go back to the docks again, aren't we? That guy looks pretty cool. It says he's level 20. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh wait, it's on this side. 
I thought I was gonna be over there by the docks, but I guess it makes sense since it's a caravan, right? Oh man, I really thought I went over. Oh well. Hey, Blayami. The next caravan will be ready to leave shortly. If that interests you, find a place nearby to sit for a spell, and I'll call you when we're ready. No, no, I'm I'm actually looking for a young Nord woman. She wears a flower in her hair. Have you seen her by any chance? Well, isn't that interesting? You're the second menacing stranger that's asked me about a Nord who may or may not have fled in tears. Even if I had seen this young woman, why do you think I'd tell you anything? Look, I'm just trying to help her. She's a friend of ours. Her family is worried about her. Right. Her family. The way that young woman was crying, you'd think Molag Bal himself was after her. Or someone like you. If I had helped the Nord, and I'm not saying I did, you'd have to do a lot better than that to get me to tell you anything. Okay, well then how can I convince you I'm trying to help her? Did your caravan take her to Skyrim? Sorry. I protect my customers and their secrets. I've got nothing else to say to you. Caravan Master, please! The young woman with the flower in her hair, she's in terrible danger! Well, look at you! You must be the brother. So you did see Hildegard. Please, you need to tell us where she's gotten to. You're all she talked about other than begging me for transport. She said she was gonna miss you most of all. Word on the docks was that the Silver Dawn was looking for my sister too. We need to know where she went. The young woman wanted a ride to the Yarol Mountains. Sent her on the last wagon, but I can take you there if that would help. We'd appreciate that. Thank you. Did he say the Silver Dawn? Optional talk to Kor, I'm gonna talk to him first. The news about the Silver Dawn has made me even more concerned about Hilda's safety. We have to hurry! I wonder if that's like the predecessor to the Mythic Dawn. Maybe. I'm not a I'm not really sure. What was that about the Silver Dawn? The Silver Dawn are werewolf hunters. Oh never mind. Whatever that chanter said to Hilda has made her run back to the wilderness where I found her. And now a hunting party is on her trail. They're going to kill her initiate. Not if we reach her first. Sorry I gave you the runaround, but I was just trying to protect my passenger. I get it. Those Silver Dawn ruffians came around asking about her right before you did. I didn't say a word to them either. Just let me know when you're ready to go to Skyrim. Yeah, we're ready to go now. Then hop aboard the wagon and let's get going. I'll get you there as fast as I can without throwing a wheel. Well... At least without throwing more than one. If the Silver Dawn hunts your friend, you better be ready for a fight. Been ready, ho uh, homegirl. I'm always ready for a fight. Now let's get on the shagging wagon. Oh, snap. Ready to destroy these. Let's split up and look for Hilda. People. But stay alert. The forest is probably crawling with Silver Dawn hunters. I'm not even worried about it, to be honest. I'm not even going to go sneaking. Oh, I have to, to look at the tracks. But still, I'm going to kill everyone. Who's this guy? Oh, it's another player. I'm not worried about you. Back to sneaking, baby. What is this guy? Silver Dawn Hunter? This Silver Dawn Hunter died in a fierce battle, apparently with a wolf. It's not very challenging there, bruh. Oh, he beat me to it. This guy's just ahead of me. Maybe I should just follow him. This guy's a vampire. Right, where is this? Where are they? This way? Yep. Ow! That hurt, Chale. It's gotta be this way, right? Uh, I'm not sure if I was supposed to kill this guy. I'll take the gold, though. Is it? It can't be this way, right? It's not. It's it's really not. Uh, maybe I shouldn't follow this guy. Maybe I should have done the whole sneaky thing the whole time. 
Sorry, Mr. Level 22. But it's time for me to forge my own path. It's gotta be this way. Okay. I'm gonna kill all these guys, I don't even care. If I see one, they're dead. Dunzo. I like being a Templar. Got another dead man here. Look at me teleport! I'm gonna kill Bambi. Oh, I can't kill Bambi. Who's this guy? Is this another vampire? She's dressed like it, but she doesn't have the pale skin like a vampire, so I don't think it's the vampire. Dude, did I just... I just did a full circle. And I just accidentally used my ultimate. I do that too much. I'm so used to playing like shooters and stuff that I literally always forget you don't have to reload in this game. Slam! Dunzo. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Done and done. Whatever it is I'm looking for. Oh, it's right here. What is this? Flowers were expertly and relentlessly picked from this plant without damaging either the plant or the remaining blossoms. I'm not really sure what that means. Oh, shut up! See, these are all... stealing. Was I not supposed to kill this guy? I don't think I was supposed to kill this guy. But I killed him. Hello! Dunzo. Am I gonna be forced to wait for this guy to respawn? Because I think that's what's happening. Let's just go explore for now, maybe. Maybe we'll find something around here. Even though, if I'm being completely honest, I don't think we will. What's up here? What was that? I'm not. Uh, nah. Okay, I guess I lied. Hello. These guys are too simple. I'm pretty sure I'm going back. Wait, that's a camp. We haven't been to that camp yet. You want some? Here, you stay there while I go mess with your friend. <laughs> Defeat the Silver Dawn? Sounds, sounds like a plan to me. Someone's got the jump on me. Got him. These guys are simple. Just blasted him from a mile away. He did not stand you a chance. Challenge the order of the Silver Dawn? Yes. I'll tear your head off and mount it on my wall. Oh no! Whatever I will I do? Spare me, and I'll tell you where the werewolf is. Retractor to the south. No! No! 
<laughs> that was awesome. So he said he tracked her to the south. You guys can go ahead and read this. I'm not gonna read it. Just go ahead and push pause if that's something you guys want to do. I did it again. Why do I always do that? Is this south? No, this is north. I gotta stop using my ultimate, I swear. Now I'm pretty sure I gotta go to that one house that was missing. Here, you can have that. You can have that. You can sit down. And you can just go hokey pokey. Dunzo. Hey, come here. Don't act like I didn't see you. Oh, you wolves. Yeah, we're definitely going back to that house, aren't we? I'll let her live for now. Because I gotta go to this house. Can I talk to him? I don't know because that's that's where we came from it's gotta be over there right although I will say this I don't see any track marks I might have to just come back over here and reset. Nice. So hold on. So they said to the south. Oh, the south. I'm pretty sure I have to go around. That dude is swole. It has to be this way. Yeah, it's this way. At some point I made a wrong turn. Kamehameha! Go. Okay, the tracks are going in this direction. We're on the right track, that much is for sure. It feels weird not having a companion. Is that her? That's her! It's me, Hilda. Your big brother. I did it again. Calm down. They're here to help. Remember yourself. Remember who you are. Hey. That's good, little sister. Very good. Now breathe. Relax. Good job. I did not mean to cause so much trouble. I never meant to put you or Ko in harm's way. She has like an Asian dialect, doesn't she? She doesn't really sound Nordish to me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are getting that same vibe. Uh, why did you return to the uh, to the sanctuary, Hildegard? I meant to, but the chanter told me I had to flee. He said my past and my wild nature were going to cause the people I love to come to harm. He said the deaths of our brothers and sisters were my fault, and it was going to get worse if I remained. Uh, Charter Nem Nemus told you all this? He knows about you and the Brotherhood? The Chanto sings to the Divines. He speaks for Akatosh. I had to tell him things. About me. About the family. It happened before. I was a danger to my wolf clan. Now I am a danger to Kor. To you and the others. You are all better off without me. Uh, Chanto Nemus deceived you. 
He sent the silver the silver dawn to kill you. No. I would not to do that. He told me to return to my old life, to the wilderness. He said I'd be safe, that no one else would get hurt if I left. He promised that Akatosh would show me the way. We're family, Haldi. We protect each other. We're strong together. You you really mean that? Yeah, I do actually. After I abandoned the family? Yep. You still want me around? Why wouldn't I? I'm sorry, I caused so much trouble. I let my fear allow the chanter to deceive me. That is not going to happen again. Core and I, we'll handle things together. Good for you. Let's go back to the co uh, to the Gold Coast. Do I just do I just go there? All right, let's go. What? We did a full circle. Looks like you found your friend. I did. And all her limbs are still attached? Yep. Are you ready to return to Anvil now? Absolutely am. We're ready to go back to Anvil. Are you sure? Nothing else you need to accomplish before we head out? Uh, that almost makes me feel like there's something else here. But yes, whatever. Take me to Anvil, please. Hello. Thank you for saying such kind things to Hilda. I know she's taking your words to heart. You did good, Initiate. I'm glad you're one of us now. You need to make sure Hildegard gets to the sanctuary safely. I know, and I will. I'm just not eager to see Astara. She won't be pleased when she hears about this. I wish I knew what Chanter Nimus hoped to accomplish. Someone needs to stick a fork in him and call him done. Anyway, we'll see you back home. Will do. See you later, brother. Hildegard. Now that it is all over, I feel like a fool for listening to the chanter. You might have to pay him a visit one of these nights and even the score. Look, you don't worry about it. Uh, well, really quick. You said you were in danger uh, to your wolf clan. Can you tell me more about that? I guess you never heard. I grew up different. My parents were Nords, but we followed a different path from most other Nords. We admired the were beasts, wanted to be like them. We drank their blood. And that's how you became a werewolf. My clan were hunters. We worshipped her scene. Becoming a werewolf was part of that. It was the way things were done. But I could not control my wolf form. I... I hurt someone... badly. After that, I ran away to save them. Uh, and that's when Kor found you? Not at first. I lived on my own, deep in the mountains. I was wild, feral. Then Kor found me. He took me in and gave me a family again. If not for him, I don't know where I'd be right now. Now oh, if only I could make that damn chanter pay. Look, I'll handle the chanter. Don't you worry about that. Where can I find him? You do that. For me? I thank you. Chanter Nemes tends to the Akata Shrine in the Chapel of Debella. He spends a lot of time in the chapel office. And he isn't lying to foolish young women. He can feel pain before you kill him. Alright? Sounds like a plan. I'll take care of the chanter. Go home for now, Hildegard. Ooh, am I gonna go kill him now? Yes, kill Chanter Nemus is the uh, the next part of this quest, apparently. Oh, this is exciting. We're going to kill him for taking advantage of this beautiful young werewolf dog of a lady. I'm coming for you. Where's this Chanter? Oh, he's down here? They didn't even see me sneak in. I'm like a snake. In the garden. You're trespassing? <laughs> oh, that's him. How did you get in here? Well, protects me. I really wanted to use the hidden blade, but that didn't work. You need to go now. She didn't even see me kill the guy. I don't even think she cared to be honest. 
No longer trespassing, baby. So I need to go just tell... Can I just... Yeah, let me just teleport straight there. Because I'm not trying to pay... What is it? Uh, 231 gold for that. That statue looks really cool of Delabella. The lighting was just nice and right, right there. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go this way. Yeah, ever since I made those tweaks to this build, it's been a lot better. A lot better. I'm digging this. But I, honestly, if I'm being completely honest, uh, oh, let me go to inventory. I kind of want to get rid of New Moon Acolyte only because it increases the cost of your active abilities by 5%. And even though you do get a lot of like weapon and spell damage and offensive offensive penetration and all that stuff, I think I would probably do better with Shackle Breaker, which I I have a full set of Shackle Breaker because Shackle Breaker gives me stamina and magicka recovery. Um, weapon and spell damage. Oh, but this is body so I need to get me shackle breaker jewelry and weapons I need to get me jewelry and weapons so I think I'm gonna go that route because I do like the I do like the the twice born set it, it allows me to use two Montes stones and honestly it, it's worth it it's really good it's really nice actually <coughs> Because right now I'm using both the lover, which gives me weapon and spell critical, and the lover, which increases physical and spell penetration. So that stuff, it kind of, that offensive, that number four is kind of, it helps, but it's not really necessary because I'm getting the spell penetration from my Mundus Stone, weapon and spell damage also from the Mundus Stone. This has a ton of weapon uh, spell damage, including critical chance, but this all this gives me something that I think is very valuable for my build, which is stamina and magical recovery, plus spell damage and weapon damage, plus maximum stamina and magicka. I think this is a I think this would be so much better if I'm being completely honest. So I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna do that. Maybe after this, you know, playthrough is done. I'm probably gonna do that and see how how it goes, how it works. Hey, Astra. I understand we have you to thank for Hildegard's safe return. No big deal. Are you going to tell me what happened, or do I have to torture Kor until he sings? Okay. Well, since there's torturing involved, Chandler Nemus tricked Hildegard, and I killed him for it. It won't happen again. I hope you're right. Uh you can trust but why me. do the Akatosh priests seem to be moving against us? First the sermonizers, now this. Are they trying to take advantage of our recent setbacks? Or is there something more going on here? Honestly, I have At no idea. Hildegard is safe now. A contract has come our way that includes an unusual request. The client wants to meet the assassin assigned to carry out the task before paying our exorbitant fee. Uh, I take it it's not the way things are usually done? It's rare, but not unheard of. And the Black Hand agreed to the request, so who am I to complain? I'd like you to deal with this one, Initiate. Go to Anvil Castle and meet with our client. I'm sure she's got a good reason for altering our protocol. Who's the client I'm supposed to meet? Oh, didn't I mention? Nope. It's none other than the self-proclaimed Provincial Governor of Anvil. The Pirate Queen Fortunata Abdugal. I expect you to handle this like any other contract. Acquire your target, plan your attack, and make your kill. I won't fail I won't fail you, Matreon. Go and see what the Pirate Queen has to say, Initiate. At the very least, it should be amusing to let her think she can order us around the way she does her red sails lackeys. I look forward to hearing all about it after the deed is done. Any idea who the provincial uh, governor wants dead? Knowing Fortunata, it could be anyone. She's made as many enemies as she has friends since taking control of the Gold Coast. Probably just a noble who insulted her at one of her elaborate parties. Can you tell me more about Governor Fortuana? For Fortura, her? I'm sure there's a book about her around here somewhere. 
Oh, very well. Fortunata worked for the Gold Coast Trading Company before she used her influence and connections to become the Pirate Queen of the Abitian Sea. How did a Pirate Queen become the Governor of Anvil? With a fleet of ships and an army of pirates. It helped that the region had been decimated by Varen's civil war. She was so bold as to claim the entire Gold Coast as her domain. But Count Careless and Kavach still have a little to say about that. Well, okay. Anything I should know about Anvil Castle? It's crawling with Red Sails pirates. Fortunata keeps it locked up tighter than her dowry chest. But she is expecting you. Mirabelle knows the Anvil Castle well. She spends time there pretending to be a servant so she can keep an eye on things. So Mirabelle spies on the governor on Governor Fortuana? Certainly. And she's very good at it. For the eventual day when we have to move against the Pirate Queen, we'll have Mirabelle Today's in day. place and ready to act. Of course, such a day may never materialize. But I believe in preparing for every contingency. Fair enough. Goodbye. So I'm assuming we have to talk to Mirabelle? No, I guess we gotta go straight to Fortuana. Fortunat? To, I can't say her name. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not even gonna pretend. 500 gold? Oh, okay, screw it, let's go. I'll pay it. How much gold do I have? Inventory? Well, I got enough. I'm not worried about it then. So this is a... There's a lot of tiny little intricate moving pieces of... Uh, apparently. Look at that little astral chicken right here. So, I, in order to get there, I have to go inside because I have to go all the way around. So, it's passing the castle, if I remember correctly. Let's go. There's an urgent task. No, I don't want your urgent task. I got business to take care of, okay? Ooh, that's a cool statue. I want to see the statue. Oh, that is a really cool statue. Who is she? If you guys know who she is, definitely let me know down in the comment section. I'm legitimately curious. I want to know who she is. Anvil Guard. Okay, this is the castle. Talk to Governor Fortuana. We're going to have to kill this person, aren't we? Knock, knock. Okay. Got to make sure I'm uh, well dressed for the occasion. Dude, that is a beautiful lion. I love it. Well, you look interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm quite certain I don't remember seeing you around the castle before. Even so, I do hope there's a good reason for this interruption. Remain silent. Ah, of course. You're one of them. I wasn't sure you'd honor my request since I refused to perform that ghoulish ritual of yours. I suppose even the Brotherhood can be bought for the right amount of gold. Remain silent. You're just going to stand there all dark and silent? Oh yeah. Well, I wanted to convey my orders directly so there'd be no misunderstanding. The Order of the Hour has expanded its mandate beyond the Kavach Cathedral. That's a threat I can't ignore. Uh, remain silent. <laughs> oh, that is so annoying. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure Count Carolus is behind this. He constantly undermines my authority. Damn the man! I want you to kill Commander Marcus Scipio and show the Count that the hour can't protect him from my wrath. Silent. Perhaps you could blink <laughs> once just to let me know you understand. Oh, and one more thing. After you murder Scipio... Go and tell the Count what you did. Scare the pants off him. And drive home the point that the Order of the Hour can't help him. <laughs> I do like hearing myself talk, but this is ridiculous. Oh well. <laughs> the Hour holds Castle Kavach under lock and key. You'll need to find a way inside to get at Scipio. My rat master tells me the guard tower is the best route. The Castellan has the key. Good to know. Thank you. I love that lion. Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go. 
I'm out of here. So, optional, talk to the castle gate officer and obtain the key. Castle gate officer it is. I need to look on the map real quick. Castle gate officer, is it? Okay, it's on the other side. I don't want to spend 700 gold, so I'm going to make my yeah. way over to the, um... Yeah. Oh, I guess I could have just... Yeah. I didn't have to go all the way around. I could have just went straight... Whatever. I didn't know, okay? Forgive me. I know now. But at least it's a straight shot to the, uh... Way Shrine. And I could, I could just jump to the other location. Excuse me. I'm here. Perfect. Maybe I should hop back on my horsey. Yeah. That's on fire and magical and fantastic. I love this city, dude, because it's a bunch of Imperials and... I mean, you guys know, man. I love Imperials, dude. I love everything about Imperials. They're so awesome. Hey, you. Move along. The castle has been closed by command of the Count of Kavach and the Order of the Hour. Listen, I have business inside the castle. Do you now? I suppose you have a writ from the Count? Or maybe a seal from Primate Artorius? Or a pass from an Hour officer? No? I didn't think so. Move along. What kind of seal are you talking about? You know, a scroll bearing the hallowed seal of the Primate of Akatosh. Shows you have the Primate's blessing. Without one of those identifying documents, we'd have no way of knowing who belongs in the castle and who doesn't. How can I get one of those scrolls? You can't. Not unless you're a new hour recruit or you're one of the chanters from the cathedral. Other than that, no one else is allowed in the castle at this time. Now move along before you get on my bad side. So join the hour. Got it. Talk to the Akatosh. You know what? I'm going to go this way and obtain the key. Because this is where she said to get the key, right? Oh, God. This should be interesting. There we go. Uh-oh. It is upstairs. Why do I get the feeling someone's here? There's a book. <gasps> this doesn't seem right. How do I get it if he's standing right here? Um, can you like go away? Can I just talk to him? He's not red. It's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted either. Give me the damn key. There we go. I guess I was stressing for nothing. That was easier than I expected. I broke in and they legit didn't even care. Look at the freaking Imperials. Do they not look cool? I'm sorry, but they look awesome. Everything about them is awesome. Yeah. That key was very simple to get, though. Not gonna lie. Hello. Find that a visit to these graves. Wait, I shouldn't. Okay, screw it. I find that a visit to these graves is almost as uplifting as a stroll through the cathedral. Uh, do you have one of those primate seals? Of course. I am one of Akatosh's chanters, after all. But why in the name of the dragon god of time are you interested in the primate seal? I need your seal. Give it to me. Now. I will not. 
That seal is a declaration and a confirmation of my faith, and I take my faith very seriously. Really? Well, let's test your faith. I need to get into that castle. Give me your seal, or you're going to become a permanent resident of this graveyard. By Akatosh's hourglass eyes, you're one of those dark assassin people. The ones the Grand Sermonizer warned us about. Look, there's a hidden passage in the moat along the western wall. Use that route if you really need to get into the castle. This better not be a trick. I'm not foolish enough to cross the Dark Brotherhood. Good. It's true. Normally chains firmly bar the moat door, but that changed recently for reasons I'm not privy to. Someone must be using it. You can use it too, if you're quick and quiet about it. Okay. Too easy. Wait, hold on. The gatehouse passage. The most passage. So I got the key, right? I I'm just gonna go to the gatehouse passage since I already have the key and I really don't want to jump into the water and get all wet. So I'm going this direction. Seeing as I have the key. Shall I go into sneak? <clears throat> well, this should be interesting. Am I going to have to kill all these guys? I'm doing it anyways. I'm in the Dark Brotherhood, damn it. Let's go. Ooh, that looks cool. No, go back into sneak, man. <gasps> Kill Com Commander Marcus Scrippo? That should be easy enough. After I kill all of their guards. Dunzo. Could be throwing knives and everything. Why do I get the feel- <gasps> That was close. Get over here, spider. Uh-oh. Man! I'm trapped. This guy needs to hurry up and go. Get off your break. I must destroy you already. There we go. I can't be seen, man. I'm in the Dark Brotherhood. Got a reputation to uphold. Oh! Oh! Disgustingly amazing that was. I haven't acquired any, uh, bounty either, even though I'm both trespassing and murdering everyone. Ooh, what? Where does this go? Are they gonna come this way? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I don't wanna get caught. I got caught. Nice try. It's not that way. Let me see. Okay, so it's left here, actually. Ooh. Okay. How am I doing this? Is there potentially another way? I could go around this way. Come on, don't get caught. <gasps> oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. I'm gonna kill her. Because why not?
Oh, I did it. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. That's him! See you later, buddy. Find? Do I have to, like... There's two of them. Well, that way it doesn't do anything, so I think I have to just go all the way back. Right? Or is there an exit over here? I don't think there's an exit over here. <gasps> what? Clear out before the guard shows up and clears you out. You don't have to say that twice. I'm out of here. Sorry. You didn't see nothing. Commander Scorpio's still alive. He's doing some paperwork. He's just chilling. You don't see nothing all people to my left. But because I got caught once, I have a bounty of 231 gold. Which blows, but hey, whatever. Is it this way? No. Yeah, that way. If the trail of dead bodies is anything to go off of. <gasps> Did I get caught? I didn't mean to get caught. Ow! No, give me this. Okay, nobody else. Man, I'm just gonna get keep getting bounty, dude. I'm already at 700. This guy's literally in my way. I wonder what happens if I kill this guy. Okay. Goodbye. Now I have a thousand bounty. Must be baptized in blood and fear. Someone's literally doing the black sacrament. There they are. Yes, it must have. I performed the ritual just as described night after night. And now you're here. I suppose there's no turning back. I have to go through with this for the people of Kavach. Fortunata must be stopped. Okay. I have the gold required for payment, but I wanted to offer you something more. I can tell you who's been murdering your assassins. <gasps> First of all, <gasps> second of all, I love his armor. He looks cool. Third of all, tell me who's killing our people. I'm not here because of the ritual. You're not? Then why have you slipped past my defenses and entered my... Oh no. Fortunata sent you, didn't she? You're here to kill me. Fortunata did send me, but not to kill you. Marcus Scorpio is dead. She wanted you to know. You murdered the commander. I see. Another one of Fortunata's insults. Pay to weaken the order of the hour, but killing a count is just a waste of gold. But you are one of the Brotherhood, and I performed your ritual. Let me pay you to kill her. I mean, it says that's not the way it works, but that's kind of the way it works. Even though he did the Black Sacrament, I think it has to go straight to the, uh, to the mother. The night mother, and then she says it to the listener, who passes it on to the uh, the speakers, and then they choose a person, right? But I'll remain silent. I'll take your silence as agreement. I don't care how. Just make sure Fortunata dies. It's the only way I can protect my city. Do that, and the gold and the information about the murderer are yours. I am a man of my word. Wait. Who is that behind you? What? Initiate. It's my spider. <gasps> I arrive in response to the Black Sacrament and look who I find. An interesting turn of events, don't you agree? 
One contract comes into conflict with another and you're caught in the middle. That makes you the ideal candidate to sort things out. I am? The Night Mother heard the Count's prayer and Fortunata Abdugal has been named. Her soul is promised to Sithis now, and you will keep that promise. The Count's contract is yours to fulfill. I'm already on a contract for Governor for to, for to her. You completed Fortunata's contract to the letter. No one can say that the Brotherhood didn't discharge its obligations in that regard. It's true. Now we have a new contract. And not all the gold in Anvil can change that. The Count's sacrament is yours. <laughs> I saw this coming. Governor Fortuana won't survive the day, Speaker. Very good. Seek out your sister, Mirabelle, in Anvil Castle. She can provide aid and advice should you need it. The secret exit in the dignitary suite is the fastest route out of this castle. Now go and fulfill the Night Mother's will. Goodbye, Speaker. My dear Count, let's discuss the terms of this contract. I wonder if they can hear if I could hear them say anything. Nah, they're gonna stay quiet the whole time. Wait. Whoops. You guys can go ahead and read this. Just push pause. And that. Now let's go. Castle Kavach it is. Oh man, this got interesting, dude. We got two contracts that literally conflict each other. Am I going the right way? I as a matter of fact I am. Uh-oh. Wasn't expecting that. Ow. Or that. Let's go. That was kind of scary, not gonna lie. Oh, another one. You guys can read that. Push pause. And that. Meanwhile, let's get out of here since I already owe 1300 gold. Yikes. It's a lot. Wait, there's a secret. Passage. Well, this is interesting. Where does this go? Kav Kavach. Of course. Why wouldn't it go here? Oh, this is the... This is the entrance that the lady told me to go. So if I would have went this way, this is... Honestly, it kind of seems like the better entrance if I'm being completely honest so now I gotta go all the way over there I'm just gonna fast travel since it's not already reset but I'm gonna get stopped by a guard dude I'm gonna have to pay 1300 gold I just know it and that sucks what if I just go really fast yeah. <laughs> that guy got arrested run Nobody can find me, I promise. Someone's gonna catch me. Someone always catches me. Run! I got caught. Please. Clemency! This doesn't have to mark my words. I will not let you go a second. Shut your mouth, guard. But I have I think I have like 15 minutes or something like that. I got a really short window to do this, so let's go ahead and uh see if we can get away with it. Hey, I know you. I assume you have a reason for approaching me while I'm working. What is it? Are you trying to get me noticed? Wait a moment. Did you run into a problem with the governor's contract? Did something go wrong? No, the contract is complete. I have a new one. I need to kill the governor. Interesting. It is. I knew we were going to eliminate the pirate queen eventually, but I didn't expect that today would be the day. Why the sudden change, I wonder? Well, Count Kerr, whatever, performed the Black Sacrament. He did. I'm impressed. I didn't think the old Count had it in him to ask the Night Mother for help. First the governor contracts you to perform a kill, and then you get a contract to kill her. The speaker must love this. It is pretty amazing, not gonna lie. Speaker uh, told me to talk to you before I deal with the governor. Of course he did. I've been studying the castle and the governor's habits for months now. She keeps a pantry on the upper level. 
I suggest a dose of poison. Drop it in her favorite decanter of wine, and that should do the trick. Uh, how do I reach her? Is the poison really the best option to kill? For the kill? The speaker sent you to me, <clears throat> didn't he? I know Anvil Castle like the back of my hand, and I know the governor. Poison lets your target do all the work for you. And Fortunata can't resist any excuse to reach for a decanter of her favorite wine. Since you know so much, why don't you just handle the contract? Oh, I'd love to put an end to her royal pain in the arse. <laughs> the speaker gave this contract to you. I'm just here to offer advice. Tell you what, after you poison Fortunata's wine, I'll stop by for the show. We can share a drink and watch her die. You know, I like her a lot, actually. Something about her is just so seductive. It just seems... She seems like a good character. I like her. Uh, How do I reach the governor's private pantry? The governor's private pantry is on the top floor. The place is a maze, though, and the red sails guard the direct approach nine ways to Sundas. I'd use the secret passages in the eastern corridors. Just look for a red drape over an alcove. Red drape over an alcove. I'll forget that almost instantly, but okay, let's go with that. There's a secret passage into the castle? Naturally. Most of castles have them. You just need to know where to look. Once you pass through the entry hall, the guards will consider you a threat. If you want to avoid being seen, find a red drape and use the secret passages. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to get arrested right here, though. This should definitely be interesting to say the least. So I gotta find a red drape? Well, the, the governor's not here. You don't see nothing. Well, I'm officially trespassing again. And of course I have to go left. Uh oh. That's not good. Meh. Alright. Managed to get through that one. <gasps> I gotta watch my back way too. Oh crap. Okay, good. She went left. Her left. Is it this way? It is this way. Oh, crap. No! That went south quick. Okay, I gotta just go around. You didn't see nothing. Why do I get the feeling someone's gonna... No! She, he turned around. Yikes. This would be one of those moments where a morally gray character would come in handy. I can't wait for that Khajiit to come. Oh, we got a night blade. <clears throat> it is this way, right? Oh. I have to wait for them to go. I hope this other guy didn't see anything. Perfect. <gasps> oh, that was close. He's probably wondering where the person went. So left, talk to the governor for Tuana. Sorry, sir. 
You have reached your end. There you go. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Where's he going? I think that's where I have to go. Sorry, red sails. Man, there's even more people here. Uh-oh. Oh, that's perfect, actually. <gasps> Since you won't leave, I've summoned the guard. No, you didn't. Okay, good. Woo! Come on, baby. One more. Perfect. We How have in oblivion's bleakness did you get in here? No, don't tell me. I don't really want to know your trade secrets. Well, hello. To what do I owe the pleasure of this unexpected visit? Can I assume that my little problem has been dealt with? Uh, Commander Scorpio's dead and the Count and Count Coralis has been informed. That's perfect. Splendid even. I'm going to overlook the way you so rudely barged in here and offer you a drink. Join me on my balcony. I'm sure you'll appreciate the view. I think she's trying to seduce me. This Fetch should be interesting wine, though. Girl. You know the one. And bring something less expensive for my friend here. Less expensive? <laughs> well, she values us greatly, doesn't she? Are you gonna say anything? She's so gonna die right now, it's gonna be amazing to watch. She seems snotty. Okay. I hope you're ready for your death, my friend. I miss sailing the open sea. Things were more clear out there. Kill or be killed. Take whatever you can carry. Fight to keep what's yours. It's the same here, I suppose. We're just less honest about it. Your wine governor. Mirabelle? Where is Edwina? You know how clumsy Edwina gets. <laughs> While she cleans up her mess, I brought your wine so you wouldn't be kept waiting. Oh, she's so dead. Initiative. I like that in a serving girl. Very well then. A toast. To taking what you can and fighting to keep what's yours. Is she gonna fall off? The wine. What did you do? We'll drink to your memory, Governor. <gasps> and to the glory of the Night Mother. Mirabelle. She's one of... You! Life is fleeting, Fortunata. An illusion. And in the end, everything belongs to Sithis. <laughs> oh my god! He said, hello. She's dead! I'll see you back at the sanctuary, darling. After I clean up any evidence of our involvement. I like her even more now. We just destroyed her and then made her fall off. So technically the poison didn't kill her, it was the fall. But still, that was awesome. Oh, that is a... That was a cool animation. I don't think I have that mount. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. I have a ton of mounts, but I'm pretty sure that's not one of them. Okay, excuse me, coming through. Sithis awaits us. Oh my god, dude. That was seriously the coolest freaking mission so far. Okay, let's talk to Astra. Since that's who we got to talk to. Is it this way? Yeah, it's gotta be this way. Astra, need to talk to you. Hello. The speaker brought me news of your success in Kavach, and of the events that followed. I must admit I didn't expect you to return from Fortunata's den of pirates and brigands. Does this mean the Pirate Queen has been dethroned? 
Governor Fortuana is dead. Then I believe a new title is in order, Initiate. You've demonstrated skills and abilities that we will definitely need in the battles to come. Stand tall, Assassin. You've earned your place in the Brotherhood, and we're proud to have you among us. All right. And I got some gold. What I need to do is get rid of my stuff. So who, where do I go for the next quest? It's around here somewhere. Let me open zone guide and just do this. Continue zone story. Since, yeah, see I would have ran the wrong way. Wait. Astra. Fortunata's death bodes well for the future of the Gold Coast, but our problems remain. I need to consult with the speaker and determine how best to collect the rest of what Count Carolus owes us. In the meantime, I'll leave you to your contracts. Hmm. Is it down? Oh, it is below. Okay, so I gotta go downstairs. So I guess I wouldn't have gone the wrong way. I would have just got lost. It's gotta be this way, right? Oh, because that goes... Yeah, it is. It's here. What? You're too close to this one, Mirabelle. Besides, the speaker has already decided. Too close? They killed Simba, Rastara. That's too close. I wouldn't be a part of this, whether you give the command or not. Damn. That escalated quickly. Is she gonna say anything else? Assassin. Assassin, it's time to collect a payment past due. Of course, Matron, but why was Mel uh, Mirabelle so upset? Mirabelle's outburst doesn't concern you, Assassin. Focus on the task at hand. Count Carolus still owes us for the sacrament. He claimed to have information about the Black Dragon. Meet him at the ruins of Dossic Moor and find out what he knows. Why does he want to meet me at the ruins? We're not sure, but that's where he requested to meet. He has a camp there which he's using for his own clandestine purposes. Before you go, talk to Mirabelle. She has information concerning the Count that could prove useful to your mission. I'll talk to Mirabelle before I head out then. Don't dawdle, assassin. I gave you a job, and I expect you to handle it. I'm on it. Relax. Before I go uh, and speak with her, can you tell me what Maribel was so upset about? Curiosity isn't a trait I encourage, especially when it comes to matters inside the sanctuary. Still, you'll find out soon enough, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I will, too. Mirabel has allowed Tanik's injury and the deaths of Simbar and the others to make her... emotional. What do you mean, emotional? The deaths hit her hard, especially Simbar's. She craves revenge, and it's making her anxious, reckless. That's dangerous for an assassin. We need to be cold, precise, calculated. The heat of emotion leads to mistakes, and that gets people killed. That's, that's fair. Was Mirabel close to Simbar? We know that she was. As close as any lovers can be, I suppose. The recent deaths visited upon us have affected Mirabelle, but Simbar's torture and murder, that one has left a mark. It has made her emotional, which is never a good thing in our business. That, I mean, that's fair. Can you remind me why we want to meet with the court? Have you account? been so inundated with contracts that you've forgotten? <laughs> the Count performed the sacrament and named Governor Fortunata, promising us gold and information on the Black Dragon. You completed our part of the bargain. Now it's the Count's turn. Yeah, 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 I already know. I just wanted to see what it said, what she would say. Maribel. Astara just gave you my mission, didn't she? Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Astara said, uh, Astara said you had information for me? Did she? So I get to do all the work and you wind up with all the glory? Exactly. I'm getting a little tired of sticking to the shadows all the time. I'm sorry. Was there something else you wanted from me? Um, the information? How typical. All right. 
Focus him closely. Dasik Moor was the fort once, before it fell into ruin. The Count has a small camp there that he uses from time to time, though I haven't determined why. I guess we all have our secrets. Anything else? Hmm. Excuse my attitude, but you have to understand. Simbar. Anyway, I've been hunting the Black Dragon, on my own. I got so close I could hear her voice. But I had to break off the hunt. I didn't want to wind up dead, you understand. No, I get that. Is that why Astra didn't want you to, uh, on this mission? Isn't it obvious? She thinks I've lost my perspective. That I'm too sad or angry or whatever to do the job I've done a hundred times before. Just promise that you won't tell Astara about any of this. She already thinks I'm reckless enough as it is. No, you don't gotta worry. I'll keep your secret. I appreciate your discretion. <clears throat> If Astara knew what I've been up to, she'd confine me for my own protection. We're assassins, damn it. We don't need protection. I mean, to be fair, we kind of do, seeing as multiple of us have been murdered already. But yeah, I'll go speak to the Count now. One more thing. The last time I tracked the Black Dragon, I followed her past the Dossic Moor ruins toward the old enclave of the Hourglass before I turned back. Make sure the Count tells you what he knows about the Order of the Hour's old haunt. Oh no, the Enclave. The Brotherhood of Steel is going to be there too, aren't they? Uh, thanks for the information, sister. I feel bad for her, man. I really do. Astra! Don't dawdle, assassin. I gave you a job and I expect Hold you on. to- Hold on. I'm not telling her. I'm not going to betray Mirabelle. I like Mirabelle more than I like Astra. Astra's cool. She seems like a fair leader. But friendship is valuable too, you know? And I don't want to- I don't want to destroy that. So we got to go this way. I mean, I guess this is probably the best way is just to fast travel over here. And then just travel south, directly south, like due south from there. Find out what's at the camp. This should be interesting. We're probably going to get arrested here soon, though, because we owe a lot of money. Because we've been getting caught everywhere. Well, not really. Just 88, I guess. <clears throat> Let's go. Excuse me. Coming through. Let's go. Dark revelations. We're definitely gonna find out in this. Oh, this is it. We're definitely gonna find out exactly who this is. Ooh, that's a cool horse. I'm not used to being ordered about by a clandestine organization, so let's get this over with. I'd prefer to conclude our business and forget all about that dreadful ritual I had to perform. Uh, it's time to pay what you owe. Tell me about the Black Dragon. I already told your associate everything I know. The woman with the dark hair and the staff. Mirabelle, I believe she said her name was. Do I really need to repeat myself to every assassin that slips out of the shadows? I need you to tell me everything, Count. Of course. I assume you don't know the Black Dragon is the first sword of the Order of the Hour. My spies report they're amassing an army at the Enclave of the Hourglass. Siege weapons, new recruits. They threaten Kvatch and the Brotherhood alike. Your contract is paid in full. If that's everything... I'd like to get back on my horse and return to Castle Kavach. If I'm gone too long, I suspect Primate Artorius will go ahead and change all the locks. <laughs> Count Carolus, a few more questions before you leave. Oh, very well. What's a few more moments when I get to spend it with a deadly assassin? What else would the Brotherhood like to know? Is there anything you could tell me? Anything else you could tell me about the Black Dragon? Just that the Black Dragon is one of the deadliest warriors I've ever seen. Wears armor as dark as oblivion and twice as frightening. Even makes the rest of the Order nervous. Right after I received the first reports about her, the murders began. Any idea why the, why a warrior of the Order would be murdering members of the Dark Brotherhood? Not a clue. We only suspected that the murder victims were members of your guild recently. So my spies never even explored that line of questioning. No offense, but if the lot of you wound up destroying each other, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. Okay. By the Ruby Throne, stop doing that! 
<laughs> I told you everything I know. The Order of the Hour has increased its numbers by offering pardons to Fortunata's pirates, and the Black Dragon can be found in the Enclave of the Hourglass. Now, leave me be! I thought the Order of the Hour worked for you. Whatever gave you that idea? <clears throat> the Order is a company of warrior priests dedicated to protecting the Cathedral of Akatosh. At least, that's how they started. Now they recruit anyone who can wield a sword. I agreed to expand their authority, but... You allowed militant priests to have free run of Kovach. My back was against the wall. Between Anvil's aggressive overtures and the rampant increase in murders, I needed help. Primate Artorius offered the order and I reluctantly agreed. That was before I learned the Black Dragon was one of their number. Well, tell me more about the Enclave uh, of the Hourglass. My spies watched the Order's old headquarters from this camp. Saw supply cards start arriving a few days ago. If you want to weaken the Order, destroy their siege weapons and stop them from initiating more recruits. You'll be doing us both a favor. Where are these new recruits coming from? The Primate offered pardons to any Red Sails pirates who agreed to take the vows of the Order. Since Fortunata's death, they've been flocking to the Enclave. I wish I knew what Artorius was planning to do with an army of priests and pirates. Okay. Hey, hello. Okay. So how far is this? Literally right here. I don't even need to get yeah. on my horse. I don't know why I got on my horse. But okay. It happened. Yeah. <gasps> Maribel, what are you doing here? Assassin, I hoped I might run into you here. Mirabel, what are you doing here? What do you think you are to question my actions? If you must know, Astara sent me to look into the order of the hour's activities. Siege weapons, new recruits. They're building an army out here. Astara sent you here? Saw right through that, did you? Yeah. Astara didn't send me. It was a lie. I'm here without contract or permission. I know this might be hard for you to understand, but I need to do this. For Simbar. What exactly are you planning to do? I oh. don't expect you to understand, and I don't want your help. But those siege weapons and other preparations the Order is making, you should do whatever you can to destroy them and disrupt their operations. It lagged a little bit and it made me click twice, unfortunately. I'm gonna restart that conversation. Assassin, what do you think you are? Saw right through that, did you? Okay. Astara didn't send me. For Simber, what exactly are you planning to do? Just one thing. I need to find the Black Dragon and make her pay for what happened to Simbar. I heard her voice and I'd recognize it anywhere. Are you going to stand in my way? No, but I have a task to complete as well. No, you know what? You shouldn't face the Black Dragon alone. I don't expect you to understand, and I don't want your help. Those siege weapons and other preparations the Order is making, by the way. You should do whatever you can to destroy them and disrupt their operations. I'll disrupt their uh, preparations if I can. No worries there. Okay, so I gotta destroy these siege weapons. Are there people here? Of course there are. You see nothing. You see nothing. Did they see me? For Narnia! Quiet. Oh, of course we got... That's a recruit? It looks like a baby. How do I get over there? Ooh, it's a lore book. Hmm. So this guy patrols. I should... If I go in there right now like this, I will get... Well, screw it. Let's try it. Dunzo! Well, it's a straight shot now. 
and nobody can stop me. Is that another lore book? Twenty fifth cut? No, it's a thieves' trove. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Right now, I am on a mission. Enclave of the Hourglass. We're officially here to destroy. Well, I, honestly, I don't really know what we're doing here, but we'll figure it out. Imperial culture is so cool. Oh, there's a boss in here. What assurances do I have before I present your offer to the remaining Red Sails captains? I guarantee your pirates will enjoy all the rights and privileges of the Order, but only so long as they remain righteous. And the pardons we were promised? Much of my crew is wanted for crimes throughout the Gold Coast and beyond. Everyone who joins the Order has their offenses absolved, both religiously and legally. We're about to initiate Captain Zayas's crew now, by the way. I'll take word of your fair offer to my crew, after I observe the initiation, if you're all right with that. Is that it? So now I gotta kill him? My pleasure. I'm gonna try to sneak up behind him. Maybe I could off one right off the bat. Dunzo. Oh, that hurt. Too easy. Dude, that was epic, man. You got you, man. You saw how I freaking just stabbed her in the back like that. I feel like a traitor stabbed her in the back. I don't care. It was awesome, and I loved it every second of it. Stop the initiation. Please don't turn around. There, he's gonna turn around right in time. Watch. Oh, it didn't. Very nice. Oh crap. Happy birthday. Oh, he didn't get caught. Come over here. Nice try. Screw it. He doesn't even do that much damage. What a weenie. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. I almost got caught and I didn't even... Man, okay, well, the good thing is we didn't get caught. Don't turn around. Oh my god, I just stabbed him in the Weenie Hut Jr. You don't see nothing. Your past is forgotten as your new life for Akatosh begins. Honor to the Order. I wonder if I could just sneak up behind him. If I could do that, that would be freaking epic. Oh, that was cool. I need this because it's AoE. Let's go. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, it lagged a little bit, but it's okay. We 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 did it. That wasn't even a problem. We destroyed him. Boss? <laughs> Nothing. So wait, what are we doing now? Burn the pardon? I do want to do that. Since you didn't leave when I asked, I had no choice but to fall Shut apart. up. Goodbye. All right, we definitely didn't need to do that, but why do I always do that? I keep forgetting I don't have to reload. It's not a shooter. Whatever, not worried about it. How did you see me? Please don't turn around. Please 
Please don't see me. Is it that way? It kind of is, but I can't go that way. I have to go around. Unfortunately. You don't see me. Oh crap. Oh criminal. Somebody call the guards so I can see what happened. I'm gonna get caught by everybody. Okay. Let's go. Two for one special. Serial killer. <laughs> yeah, I legit don't feel bad. Oh, that was not a good idea. You'll answer for that. Screw it, this guy's done. Where did you come from? They're coming from everywhere. I need a potion. Hold up. Okay, something's to the left. Destroy the... What's up, baby? Come on. We got this. That wasn't, that wasn't bad at all, actually. Oh, oops. Stop ringing the bell. I need some more stamina, so... There we go. Why do I keep doing that? Oh my god, this is insane. Pure insanity. I really gotta remove that from being R. I can't... I guess I can't kill him. Oh crap. Alright, I'm not complaining. Search? It, what am what exactly am I looking for? Speak before you kill me. Who's Lyra? Talk. It seems you have me at a disadvantage, but you don't have to be afraid of me. Put away your weapons, and I'll help you in whatever way I can. First of all, why are you helping me? Primate Artorius teaches us that no one is beyond redemption. In time and with effort, all wrongs can be righted. I can be patient. Can you? Are you trying to redeem me too? Is that it? Redemption isn't for everyone. And I'd never presume to do such a thing. Unless, of course, you're open to the idea. Do you regret your role in all of this? You can tell me. I'm a good listener. I'm not looking for redemption. The primate says regrets are as numerous as the stars in the sky, and they shine brightest in the darkness. But I don't want to talk about religion anymore, do you? It seems you have me at a disadvantage. Okay, tell me about the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon? How brave of you to seek the most powerful warrior in our order. I can show you where her chambers are, if you like. You know, the Black Dragon was a lot like you once, before she sought redemption. Like me? What do you mean? As I understand it, she was an assassin. Oh. She killed on command and with impunity, leaving a graveyard full of corpses in her wake. She's a member of the Dark Brotherhood. That is, she was, until they pushed her too far. How do you know all of this? Members of the Order are encouraged <clears throat> to talk about their pasts. But we should get to someplace more private. You don't want to get caught out in the open if more of the Order appears. I'll take you to the Black Dragon's chambers. We can talk there. Something about these seems very shady. Stay close. 
The Black Dragon's chambers are behind that door. Follow me. She could have just pointed, literally. It's right there. She could have just been like, it's right there. Okay, whatever. Huh. Looks like we're all alone. Uh huh. That's all I gotta say? Black Dragon's Journal. <sighs> so I don't wanna, I wanna read this, but I don't at the same time because it's all gonna be said. All the important parts are gonna be said in, con in conversation. So if you guys wanna read this, go ahead and push pause. But I'm not. Right now, at least. Assassin, up here. <gasps> I'm waiting for the black dragon. Setting a trap for the dragon. Is that the idea? Wait, who's that with you? She's. I am death, you silly fool. We'll meet again, assassin. And next time I'll be ready to deal with you. Don't mourn for me, assassin. I've always dreamed. Of the void. I'll see Simbar and the Tread Father soon. But you need to warn Astara. The Black Dragon is. Oh my god, Maribel is dead! Oh! She was my second favorite freaking character. Crap. And she almost told us who she was too. Oh my God, dude, that's terrible. Where am I? Well, I kind of want to discover this way shrine. So I'm gonna actually piggy, or uh, not piggyback, but horseback ride to that. I feel horrible, man. I feel horrible, man. What the hell? I wonder if there was a way we could yeah. save her if that was scripted, like it's supposed to happen. Oh my god, bro. I can't believe Maribel's dead. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do about it now. just sucks she should have just left it alone and I kind of it in uh, I feel like I'm partially responsible so assassin was the Count's information worth all the trouble he put us through the Count told me that the black dragon is the first sword in the order of the hour the black dragon is one of the order that puts everything that she's done to us in a new perspective what else did you uncover? The Order of the Hour is using the Red Sails Pirates to bolster its numbers. The Grand Sermonizer, the Chanters, now an army of religious warriors. It seems the priests of Akatosh have declared war against the Dark Brotherhood. Were you able to learn anything else about the Black Dragon? Yes, I did. The Black Dragon and the Order have turned the old Enclave of the Hourglass into a headquarters. So the Count was using the ruins of Dalsic Moor to spy on the Order of the Hour? Now if we only had some idea as to who's inside the Black Dragon's armor. She's a woman named Lyra. She may have been uh, a member of the Dark Brotherhood. I recovered the, her, uh, her journal. One of our brothers and sisters? I don't recognize the name, but there are other sanctuaries. Why would our sister hunt us? And why work for the Order of the Hour? Where's Mirabelle? I need her to do some digging. Mirabelle's dead. 
at the hands of the Black Dragon. You encountered the Black Dragon, and you survived? But Mirabelle, why was she even there? I knew her recklessness was going to get her killed. And now we face a greater threat. For all that you've learned, there's still so much we don't know. Well, I was able to sabotage a number of the Order's preparations. We got that going for us. You did well to disrupt the Order's preparations, and your reward includes a bonus to reflect that. I just wish we hadn't lost another sister along the way. But that's all for now, Assassin. Speaker Tyrannus and I have much to discuss. Man, that's horrible. The Black Dragon has struck again. Mirabelle is dead. This happened during the Assassin's mission. Did we learn anything? Or did Mirabelle die in vain? We learned that the Black Dragon is the first sword of the Order of the Hour. We recovered her journal and discovered her true name. Lyra. Lyra. Hmm. Allow me to study the journal, and its secrets will be revealed. I can't think of anyone better for the task, brother. I'll dig into the Black Dragon's journal immediately. See that you do. That's crazy. I'm in shock. Okay, let me let me open zone guide. Continue zone story. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to talk to her again. No? Talk to Green Venom Tongue. Okay. So this time we gotta talk to the homeboy. Is he down below? It kind of appears like he's supposed to be here. So let's let's go around. Maybe we'll find him that way. That's how it happened last time. Okay. We're bound to find him this time around. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Finally! Wonder, assassin. Do you have a moment to consider a request? Uh, yeah. What's up?